Hello everybody, Jade Hamilton here um, with a couple of things to do today. Firstly, to introduce you to my new wee one. This is Kyle, Kyle Sean, and he arrived a couple of days ago. Um, as you can see, um, he's not in regulation builder bear kit but that is because i have started to um dress my little ones as you probably saw by jack those of you who watch my so blue Do dolly sunday excuse me um video uh will see that i dressed jack in some newborn baby clothes. I've done that again with Kyle. He's got a little Matalan navy romper on. Let me just go back so that you can see him properly. He's got a, say, a, a Matalan sort of polo shirt style romper on with a white stripe around the collar. Let me see if I can just up and show you. Um, and he's got a lovely um, bib on, a white one with red diagonal square. I think it's, I'm not sure whether it's white with red stripes or red with white, but same difference. And he's also got these little, these are builder bear because they're the best for the fitting. Um, little Builder Bear grippy sketcher trainers. Um, I, as I say, I've started buying Builder um, baby clothes, newborn size baby clothes for my bears because A, there's a lot more of them. B, they're often a lot better fit because although my bears aren't, my cubs aren't very tall, um, well, they're, they're between sort of 16 and 19, 16, 19 inches, most of them, except for the really tiny ones like Monty and Bodie and Jonathan who I've got sort of doll clothes for and they can just stay in those, those aren't there. And Alfie and Maisie and all the, but yeah, the bigger ones. Um, I've noticed they're quite, they've got quite round tummies and they've got quite wide thighs. And it's much easier to get um, baby clothes, which have got lots of poppers, and the fabric is a lot more um, forgiving. It's got a lot more give in it than the stuff that Builder Bear use. Plus, um, you, you seem to be able to get. Um, things a lot cheaper than with the Builder Bear thing. So basically, I'm giving myself an excuse to shop for baby clothes for my little ones, and they do really suit them and fit them really well. Um, I also wanted to give you a quick um, life update. Um, a few weeks ago, I got a letter from the NHS in the post. Don't worry, it's nothing bad. It was just telling me that they were confirming my suspicions that I am autistic um, as well as um, my physical disability, which I've had um, of, from birth um, and the autism I've had from birth as well. But um, it took me 
35 years to figure out that bit of myself. But I spent a long time um, as a child and teenager wondering what was wrong with me and why I didn't process things in the way other people did and now I know um, it's kind of a relief but it's all I mean it's change and change is scary but it's kind of relief because at least now I've got some clarity um, as to why some things are just difficult um, but you know I spent years thinking it shouldn't be um, and I just wanted to say um, thank you so much to everybody for all the, the support and all the lovely yeah I, I keep saying this but it's true so thank you so much for all the kind comments all the you know engagement all the love for the cubs all the shout outs i really do appreciate it because one of the things that i struggle with as a physically disabled and autistic person is friendships um i i have wonderful friends but i find getting to know new groups of people really really hard and the fact that you've all come and rallied round me and the cubs and it's it's just so wonderful to, to see honestly um your comments and your your kindness it, it makes my day honestly so thank you so much for that um, and look after yourselves my loves and I will see you very very soon can you give everybody a wave Kyle bye bye everybody thank you so much for watching cheerio